Hello, hello, and welcome to the Salty Vapor. I am Chris Jordan, broadcasting to you from Richmond, Indiana, in the heart of the East United States of America. Today is Wednesday, April the 22nd, 2015, and uh, we're here for a vlog. Um, I would like to first welcome all of my subscribers, new and old. Um, I'd like to uh, apologize for uh, not being with you last week around this time. I was under the weather. I'm back. I am not 100%, but uh, certainly uh, well enough to do a vlog for you. Um, and we have some pretty, uh, pretty important stuff on the block for tonight. Um, advocacy. We're going to do some advocacy. We're going to do um, a first look. We're going to do um, a full review of the Kennedy RDA clone. Um, but, uh, why don't we start with, uh, what I'm vaping on? I've got, um, my Sigeli 100 watt plus with the annoying swooshes. The top of that is the Aeolus Ma or Aeolus RDA by Synthetic Cloud. Um, we'll do a little first look at that later. I've also got my Hexome. V2 um, with the Arctic tank and the El Diablo version 2 drip tip. As far as e liquids go, I've got Looper by uh, Animal and I've got Cinema by Clouds of Icarus. Um, I'm enjoying a nice Pepsi Max on ice. So let's get started. Um, we'll begin with some advocacy issues. Um, we are down to the final, uh, final kind of uh, push here in Indiana to stop House Bill, House Bill 1432. It is on its way to the governor's desk if it's not already there. Um, and basically, the only hope now is that Governor Mike Pence will veto the bill. Um, and I'm not sure there's much hope in that, but everything that we can do to, uh, to try and get the word out to, uh, let him know, um, how displeased we citizens of Indiana are in this proposed legislation, um, how much it will hurt the state economy, how much it will destroy, um, vaping in Indiana, uh, and so on, um, and what I would encourage you to do um, is get on Cassat.org. The address will be on this video as always, um, will be in the description. Um, but um, just, uh, just offhand, um, Governor Pence's phone number is 317-232-4567. You'll see a graphic for that in the beginning or the end of the video as well. Um, it's really critical that uh, we we just do everything we can to uh, let Governor Pence know um, that this legislation is is just devastating to uh, harm reduction and vaping in Indiana. Um, again, the optimal uh, course of action that I would uh, I would encourage everyone to take is to get on Casad.org get on their calls to action by state, go to Indiana, and then uh, follow the instructions from there. It, you can, uh, it will give you uh, detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to, uh, how to uh, send an email or how, how to call the governor um, and oppose this legislation very strongly. Um, we've uh, sort of been over this on previous logs, but Essentially, what this legislation does is it puts it puts um, regulations requirements on e-liquid companies out of state and in state um, that are so unreasonable that it would essentially um, end up having the effect of banning e-liquid sales in Indiana. Um, it requires uh, massive fees that the e-liquid companies would have to pay directly to the state. It requires um, third-party video monitoring um, 24 hours a day of the the mixing room 
it requires the uh, ISO 9000 standards it requires um, scannable batch samples to be kept for three years um, just all sorts of things that 10 years down the line yes at five years down the line you know uh, I would expect that to be sort of the industry standard but the industry is not ready for it yet and so essentially this is a backhanded way to uh, to destroy vaping in Indiana and uh, the legislation has the uh, has the definitely the fingerprints of big tobacco and big pharma um, working hand in hand with the, these uh, Indiana Republicans um, so that's Indiana um, pretty depressing stuff um, I think that I think that there's a lot of blame to go around but I don't think Indiana um, was ready for this I don't think Indiana um, vaping community was ready for this legislation to move this quickly and I think that tobacco big tobacco and big pharma pounce put their lobbying efforts put their dollars on the table and uh, and our fine legislators lined up uh, lined up in lockstep um, again what we can do to stop this at this point is express our absolute outrage to Governor Pence and encourage him to veto the legislation. Um, there'll be lots of information in the description on how you can do that, but go to CASA, etc. Save vaping in Indiana, and that's really what we're looking at at this point, folks. Um, some other calls to action that are critical um, for us to keep an eye on. Um, Ohio um, Republican Governor um, John Kasich is proposing um, massive tax hikes on on vaping products. Um, it would treat a 30 mil bottle of e-look with the same as 15 packs of cigarettes um, and would impose on a 30 milliliter bottle of e-liquid a $33.75 tax meaning let's say you pay currently $20 for a 30 mil bottle of e-liquid you would now pay $53.75 under this new tax plan um, so Ohio vapors um, don't make the mistake Indiana um, the, this legislation is is at your doorstep and you have to get out in massive massive numbers and oppose this with everything you've got um, uh, before this uh, this becomes a reality you know um, I think that, that it's critical that folks uh, get out in front of this uh, kind of legislation and let their let their feelings be known um, let let the public officials the legislators the governors know um, that you will um, vote um, for for your vaping rights that you will that you will work um, against them that you will get people to the polls to vote against them that you know that this is uh, that you know the small business are businesses are going to organize and uh, and uh, oppose their candidacy um, you really the, these folks really have to know that their jobs are being threatened um, by the by the voting public so um, again Ohio um, ridiculous ridiculous tax proposals um, by Governor Kasich in that state um, other places other things that that are happening Massachusetts um, they are uh, proposing a hearing um, to uh, to introduce some um, significant restrictions on on e-liquids and um, and uh, it's important that um, in Massachusetts that you you get on Casada.org of course and send a message to the Attorney General letting letting uh, her know that um, that this proposed regulation um, would be devastating to the to the vaping industry in Massachusetts um, there are a host of other um, other 
the calls to action. Um, I suppose, like, at the top of everyone's list, um, other than Deanna, which, again, may be a lost cause at this point, but but we can't treat it that way. We have to stay on the horn, definitely, in Indiana. Um, but in Washington, D.C., um, there is a proposed 70%, 70% tax on uh, vapor products. D.C. Mayor uh, Muriel Bowser has introduced the city's budget for 2016. The proposal includes a vapor product amendment of t- Act of 2015, which would tax e-cigarettes at the same rate as other tobacco products. That is another alarming trend. Um, what we're seeing is that states are are uh, treating legislatively and in terms of taxation um, e-cigarettes the same as other tobacco products. They are classifying them in some cases in the same category as tobacco products. Um, This is inappropriate. Um, As vapors, we all know um, that this is a a significant form of harm reduction um, compared to tobacco products. Um, All the good science out there, um, you know, places e-cigarettes somewhere between 90 and 100 percent safer than e-cigarettes. No one is saying that e-cigarettes are um, entirely healthy, but that compared to tobacco cigarettes, um, I haven't heard a medical person out there willing, who's willing to actually say that smoking is, is uh, better than electronic cigarettes or that electronic cigarettes are, a, are uh, just night and day better than um, smoking traditional combustible tobacco cigarettes. So. Um, Again, um, lots and lots of things going on in the state. I don't want to um, be like one more um, Minnesota. Um, also, some some craziness going on out there. Um, they're looking at a thirty cent per milliliter tax on on um, e liquid, and they're looking at including. Uh, devices and hardware, that being uh, mods and RDAs and batteries and tanks and, um, you know, batteries as a tobacco product. So they're looking at classifying all these different things as tobacco products, whether it makes any damn sense or not. Um, again, um, Minnesota is, uh, is uh, joining this uh, these states like Indiana and Ohio that are really um, proposing things that are essentially going to kill the vaping industry in their respective states. Um, certainly there's lots of, lots of things in California going that direction. California is very organized though. Um, and I feel like that even with, uh, the things going on out there that in the short term, I think they've got a shot at, at pushing back. Um, but some of, some of these states, like Indiana, um, hopefully not like Ohio, but like uh, uh, Minnesota, have haven't been entirely prepared for this. Um, these actions and big tobacco and big pharma have swooped in and uh, and got the lobbying dollars um, on the table. And again, the legislators are just uh, drinking the Kool Aid, uh, passing the legislation, and uh, and killing vaping and. Uh, it's our job, I think, as 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 vapors and as citizens, to uh, oppose these things and make our voices heard at every chance we get. Um, so again, um, all this all this adv- advocacy stuff is um, critically important. Um, we have to keep our eye on the ball um, here. Um, oh, Florida. One more. Florida is looking at classifying um, vaping products as drug paraphernalia. (laughs) Uh, Isn't that a uh, isn't that a kick in the throat? Um, And so, what the implications of that would be would be hard to say. But again, Florida, um, who as a state always tries to uh, distinguish itself as uh, the most ridiculous state, if not California. California is always. uh, certainly in competition there but um but again advocacy we have to keep our eye on the ball we have to keep uh 
we have to keep on the on, on our email on our on the phone um, whatever we can do to oppose this um, and now briefly back to Indiana um, assuming that this legislation passes um, I think that and is signed by Governor Pence I would I would call on the vaping community to uh, join um, the efforts to recall Governor Pence and um, I'm not gonna I'm not going to uh, share the information on how to do that until we see what the governor actually does um, but certainly um, if uh, if he does uh, pass this legislation if he fails to veto it then um, I will uh, I will advertise on a weekly basis um, how to go about um, joining the effort to uh, that's already underway um, to recall the governor of uh, Indiana for this and other um, blundering legislative moves. So anyway, moving on from advocacy, um, here in a few moments we're going to do a full review of the Kennedy RDA clone, um, but I've got a couple of other um, sort of first looks um, for you before we move on there. Um, one of them is this um, Aeolus atomizer. Um, a it's an authentic um, let's see if you can we can see the Aeolus there um, it's an authentic RDA um, made by a company called Synthetic Cloud out of San Diego um, I've been using this baby for a while now and I'll have a full review upcoming very very shortly on this this will be the next the next full review um, and what I'll say about this RDA at this point is that um, I hated it hated it for the first uh, five minutes uh, that I owned it and I've uh, I've uh, liked it ever since but um, for more details on that please check back for the full review on the LS um, RDA by Synthetic Law. I'm continuing to use and enjoy this um, Arctic sub ohm tank by Horizon Tech. Um, I'll be doing again a full review on this um, uh, right after I do the the uh, Aeolus um, review and uh, and I think that uh, you know again uh, my experience has been relatively positive so far it does burn through the juice in 0 0.2 ohm mode um, so uh, you might if you're thinking about getting one of these and you know you're wondering which uh, coils to purchase I might go with the 0 0.5 ohm coils um, my next coil purchase for the Arctic tank will probably be the 0 0.5 ohm coils but with that said I haven't I haven't used them so I can't comment on but these 0 0.2 ohms and it's a relatively small tank um, and with the, the 0.2 ohm coils um, it just burns through the e-liquid like crazy great vapor production um, great flavor um, in my opinion but um, but yeah you do uh, go through some serious e-liquid I have been vaping on this arctic tank I've been vaping exclusively the uh, epic clouds mom's pineapple cake and it has those nice big um, gigantic juice ports um, on the coils so um, I found that with that max VG juice um, it's the only um, sub ohm tank that I have that can that can wick it properly um, what's okay some other things um, I mentioned this earlier I, I've been using this uh, El Diablo um, version true to drip tip um, and uh, I'll do a kind of a review of that and a comparison with on the Aeolus here I have a Cherry Vapes um, drip tip on there it's a uh, I believe a uh, West Chaser um, um, drip tip and I may do a little comparison vid to uh, compare I'll say that the cherry vape tips um, tend to fit um, a range of atomizers better on this El Diablo um, I could not get it to fit 
either the Aeolus RDA, which has a massive um, drip board drip tip uh, thing there, and so very few drip tips I found actually work with it. Um, but it also won't work on the Atlantis, which I thought was uh, interesting. Um, but it does work uh, very well on the, the Arctic tank, and so I've been using it with that. But beyond the trouble with getting it to fit, um, getting it to fit, it's, you know, again, been too loose on some some tanks and uh, RDAs. Beyond that, it's just great. It feels, uh, feels great in the mouth, um, nice wide bore. Um, it's uh, n not too clunky. Um, just a really nice drip tip otherwise. Um, and of course the Cherry Vape drip tips. Um, they've kind of been favorites of mine for a while. I have this one and a couple of the uh, of the cloud chasing uh, uh, drip tips I believe they're called. And again we might do a short kind of comparison video of those coming up. Um, But what we're gonna do, we're gonna do, um, again, a full review of the Kennedy RDA clone within this video. Um, and then after that, um, the next review will be of the Aeolus RDA by Synthetic Cloud. And then after that, the, the next review will be of the Arctic sub -ohm tank by Horizon Tech. So that's kind of what we have on tap upcoming in the, in the way of reviews. Baseball, um, my Cincinnati Reds got off to a screaming great start um, and won their first four games, and then they came back to earth and have uh, played the way that I was sort of uh, expecting them to play. Um, and uh, the bullpen's been terrible, um, but hey, it's early in the season, moves to be made, things to be done. At least baseball is back, and we can all be uh, entertained by baseball as uh, as our vaping rights are being trampled um, by the various states. At least we have a, a distraction from that uh, depressing state of affairs. Um, with that said, let's move into a full review of the Kennedy RDA clone um, by question mark. As I've been saying, um, it's this guy right here. Um, I have, uh, I definitely have been using it for a while, and I, I have some, uh, I have some opinions on this uh, particular device. Um, so, why don't we take a look at at this uh, up close and uh, personal, down and dirty, and then uh, we will come back up, talk about it a little bit. Um, wrap up that review and wrap up this vlog so see you in a moment here we are down and dirty with the Kennedy RDA clone by question mark and I say question mark because there is as you can see on this box no identified maker um, anywhere on the packaging Not on that side nowhere 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 um, so what you have in the box is you get um, the atomizer itself um, and then underneath there are some spare o-rings and screws which I have since put away somewhere and have no idea where they are um, this is the Kennedy you see that very light engraving there um, so let's go over some quick specs. Um, Lead-free copper positive post for maximum conductivity. 22 mil diame diameter to fit most of your mods flush. Let's just check that with our calipers here. It is indeed 22.16 millimeters um, around and with out the drip tip it is 
34.82 millimeters in depth to the tip of the 510 pin there. Um, in case you're wondering, with the drip tip, that brings us to oh, problems with my calipers here, which are very cheap. Okay, with the uh, drip tip, it is 52.3 millimeters long. So, it supports, um, has um, two uh, 3.5 millimeter airflow holes, um, supports dual 20 gauge builds, um, copper 510 contacts for maximum conductivity, huge juice well, conical top cap design to support the amazing flavor production, the website says. Um, you see it does have a slight, slight conical design. Um, nothing on the magnitude of a K fun or anything like that, but um, and you see the has a relatively um, deep juice well as well. Let's check the calipers on that. Um, I would say that the juice well is roughly nine millimeters deep would be my uh, my estimate. Um, there's a, at least a, a millimeter, um, millimeter and a half of uh, extra space at the bottom, but the the juice well well does appear to be about nine nine mils deep. Um, again, that ever so light engraving of the Kennedy um, atomizer there. You'll see it's a uh, it's a standard three post um, affair. Um, nothing fancy there. I've got a uh, my standard dual 24 gauge build um, in there. Let's pop it on my Sigeli here and take a take a look at how she vapes. And she does produce the vapor. Um, <clears throat> and that's how it uh, and that's how it looks on the on the Sigali 100 watt plus here. The website also points out um, that um, the innovative bottom airflow gives you unbelievable flavor chasing experience. With the competition Kennedy RDA, you also experience the competition ready cloud chasing experience. Flavor and cloud chasers dream RDA. Um, so I will share my views on that when we get back up top. I will tell you where you, oh, a couple other things. Um, you'll see it has this prepare proprietary uh, drip tip which is not not uh, standard to the authentic Kennedy RDA um, a lot of things aren't really um, aren't really standard they really could have uh, left this uh, Kennedy engraving off entirely because it's uh, it's really not all that similar um, to the Kennedy in a lot of respects which we'll talk a little bit more about when we get up get back up top but um, the uh, other than it having your 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 airflow on the bottom, um, as we would expect with the with the Kennedy clone, um, let me get this a little more in focus. Um, yeah, you see the you can see there um, 
and I know I know my belt sort of in the way there. I do apologize for that, but um, just uh, underneath uh, my coils there, you'll see the airflow holes, and they're kind of milled into the deck itself, um, and uh, which is different from the the Kennedy design. Are really they're uh, tubes that come up as opposed to uh, being milled into the deck. But with that, I think I'm comfortable going back up top, um, showing you some of the vapor production, talking about some of the pros and cons, and giving you my recommendation. So I will see you in one moment. Um, again, no uh, identified company. I will tell you um, where you can pick one of these up uh, if you are so interested. Um, and this is just the first place that comes up on a Google search um, other than um, some third-party websites um, which are directing you to Fast Tech. You can get this RDA on FastTech.com, um, but as far as uh, vendors within the, in the United States, um, you can get it from 7vapes.com. That's S-E-V-E-N. V A P E S dot C O M. So seven vapes dot com um, ha has it. Um, they are currently out of stock um, and it will run you $21.77 when it is in stock, which is a better price than I paid. I bought it at a, a local brick and mortar. Um, incidentally, if you happen to live in the uh, Cincinnati Dayton area, it is available at Vapor House. Um, in Dayton, Ohio for roughly $30, I believe. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's the, uh, Kennedy RDA clone. Um, not much to look at. Um, like aesthetically, I, I think it's pretty, it's pretty plain, pretty generic looking. Um, which I think is, again, far different from the original, the design of the original RDA, which aesthetically, uh, just aesthetically speaking, is far superior. Um, well, let's talk some pros, some cons. I'll give you my final recommendations um, on this product, and we will call this a vlog. Um, pros. It has great airflow, um, which I would imagine um, it owes greatly to the, uh, the authentic. Um, that bottom that bottom airflow is just uh, just awesome. Um, provides a nice um, swooshy uh, vape. Also, <coughs> that bottom airflow provides really great flavor. Um, the uh, the flavor on this RDA is on par or better than most. Uh, most of my favorite RDAs, um, including the uh, including the Troll RDA and the Aeolus RDA, which I think are the two RDAs that I, I probably sp have spent the most uh, most time with. Um, the flavor is uh, definitely on par with those. Um, The build on this uh, on this RDA um, is not bad. Um, the build deck is a little bit a little bit cheap feeling, um, but the screws aren't too wobbly. Um, it didn't cut doesn't cut your wires when you tighten it down, um, but it is it is a little bit thin. Um, the top cap is pretty well built, um, fairly fairly thick stainless steel. Um, and no complaints with this prepare, proprietary drip tip. Um, it fits in, fits in well. The O-rings are, eh, kind of loose. But, um, with this top cap, um, you know, you, you can, you can just put it down wherever you want. You don't have to align air flows and airflow holes and things, so. Um, but yeah, the O-rings on the, uh, on it are pretty loose. Um, getting into some cons, um, one thing I would say is that it's not at all faithful to the original Kennedy design, um, other than, 
their attempt to copy the Kennedy logo, which was rather pointless, and the fact that it has um, bottom airflow, um, there's not a lot of other similarities to the best, the best I can tell. Um, the build deck is uh, somewhat different. Um, the, uh, it has these uh, airflow holes milled into the side of the deck as opposed to being tubes that come up. Um, now what, what advantage or disadvantage that has, I, I couldn't tell you. Um, I don't have an original authentic Kennedy RDA. Um, but, um, but, and also primarily there, there is no Kennedy RDA with a, a drip tip, um, situation like this. The, uh, the original two airflow hole Kennedy RDA had had just a, a place for a standard 510 um, drip tip and the comp um, Kennedy comp RDA had um, a chuff style uh, drip cap but um, this uh, nothing really like uh, this is a, a two air airflow uh, um, two hole airflow design um, it has this kind of weird in between um, drip top cap so um, they really they could have left that silly lightly engraved Kennedy um, off of there um, put no logo and just and just uh, had, had it be its own or put a different logo and had it be its own original RDA design I mean other than you know that borrowing the the bottom airflow from the Kennedy there really aren't a lot of other similarities um, another con something that bothers me about this RDA is there there's no company willing to uh, identify themselves with uh, making this it's just uh, I suppose it, and I haven't had a lot of dealings with fast tech but I suppose it's just a uh, fast tech special um, but that kind of bothers me. I, I don't know if this is fear of, uh, fear of lawsuits or what the situation is there, but again, no, it's a, a Chinese company for sure. Um, but no identified, uh, company, um, with this particular product. Um, which brings me to my final and most important con. Which is that this is the very, very leakiest RDA that I have ever owned. Um, and I've tried everything. I've tried different builds. I have certainly tried um, the painting technique. Um, and you can see here, um, this is just a small amount of, of use while I've been doing a review. Um, the top is covered with juice. Um, and you can't see this very well, but there is juice down in the 510 connector as well, um, which is almost always the case that I have to get a Q-tip and clean it all out. And so with that, um, with the leakiness issues, I really wanted to like this, this RDA, um, because it's, relatively cheap it has um just awesome airflow and just awesome flavor um now if you consider just certainly just airflow flavor cost um and those sorts of things you know it would get an enthusiastic uh recommendation from me but it is just so leaky um that i feel like um unless you're going to use it on you know something like you know, use it exclusively on something like the Sage um, mod by Beyond Vapes, which has a huge juice collection cup. Um, if you're going to use it with something like that, um, I wouldn't have any problem recommending it for you. If you're going to use it on a regulated device of of any kind, um, you just the risk is too great that it is going to end up um, destroying your mod. Um, because it leaks so much and again, I tried uh, 
I tried every method that I could. I tried uh, I tried different builds. I tried different wicking. I've uh, definitely just painted the coils. I've tried not even placing juice on the the coil itself, which is over the airflow hole, but just just placing the juice on the wick below. Nothing seems to matter. You still get um, at a minimum you get um, massive amounts of condensation. Um, below the RDA there um, and so I, I can't really because of its just the extreme leakiness with this RDA I cannot recommend it um, and I've heard some more issues with the uh, with the authentic um, I have heard some varying viewpoints on that um, Grim Green um, in his review of the authentic um, you know says that the painting technique, just painting your coil and your wick, um, with that it doesn't leak much at all. Um, again, in my experience with this clone, um, it, it still does leak a lot and it definitely, the vapor definitely condenses um, under the RDA immediately and then that builds and builds and builds to, to a fairly good sized pool of uh, e-liquid on your mod. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, super, um, paranoid about, about leakiness and about the leakiness destroying my mod. Um, it's something that really bothers me. Another reason that I've been loving, um, the Aeolus mod, or Aeolus RDA is that it just, it doesn't leak. Um, but also my, my good old tried and true troll RDA, um, you know, a tiny little bit of condensation, but um, but nothing otherwise um, in the way of leaking. Um, some of these RDAs are just so so damn leaky that um, I feel like your your mods in danger. When there's liquid getting pools of liquid getting down in the 510 connector, that's that's not good. You know, a little bit around the rim um, on your mod. A little bit below the RDA itself. That's kind of standard uh, standard practice for a lot of RDAs. But you know, when it when it leaks to the point that it's pooling up in your 510 connector, um, that's over the line. Um, and I, so for that reason, I, I can't really recommend it. Again, if you're a mech mod user, um, specifically if you have a mech mod similar to the the Sage uh, mod by Beyond Vape. Um, which I feel much more comfortable um, with leaky RDAs on this because it's so well sealed in there and it has that really deep kind of juice collection cup. Um, <clears throat> I, f I feel like there's less chance of uh, damage occurring with that one. So if you're using it on something like that, I can, you know, give it the old thumbs up, recommend it. Um, if you're using on any kind of regulated device, I just wouldn't. Um, I would go. Uh, I would go with something far less leaky. Um, I continue again to recommend the uh, the Troll RDA by Watofo for a, as a, uh, a a reasonably priced um, alternative. Um, I can certainly um, tentatively recommend the Aeolus RDA. Um, if you're in the market for a little more expensive, um, authentic, um, RDA that doesn't leak. Um, but yeah, the leaky RDAs, um, I just can't handle them. So, um, with that said, again, can't recommend the, uh, the, uh, Kennedy RDA clone by question mark, but if you're interested in it, um, 7vapes.com is the place to go. That will be in the description. Um, and to wrap up the vlog, I would encourage you, again, if you live in Indiana, to call Governor Mike Pence and express your outrage and opposition to House Bill 1432. Um, with that said, um, join uh, join the vaping militia. Join CASA.org. Um, and... Uh, Let's, uh, let's uh, all of us uh, vapers of the world uh, stay united, fight for our vaping rights, and, uh, and, uh, and, and protect this thing that we love. So, 
Thank you. Um, next up on the review queue will be the ALS RDA. Um, <clears throat> until then, um, thanks for joining me, Chris Jordan, the Salty Vapor, and have a lovely evening. Bye. Thank mm-hmm. you.